Ladybug Technologies Peak and Pulse Power Measurement Demonstration. My name is Orwell Hawkins and today I'm going to demonstrate RF peak and pulse power measurements using a Ladybug Technologies USB power sensor. The demonstration setup consists of a Windows computer with Ladybug software already installed. A small demonstration source connected to a Ladybug Technologies LB480A USB power sensor. I will now connect the sensor and start the demonstration. Note that the less expensive sensors LB478A or 479A would work just as well for this demonstration. When the application starts, calibration tables are uploaded from the sensor to the computer to provide an accurate measurement. This demonstration is going to start with basic CW power. That's what's on the screen now. Note that the frequency of the system is set to 1 gig. However, our source is putting out 1.8, so we'll go to the measurements tab, set frequency, and change that to 1.8 so that we'll get an accurate measurement. And so now you see on the screen we have 6.205 dBm measured power. If you'd like to change the number of averages, for example, if you need a faster measurement or if you have a bumpy signal and you need a long number of averages, you can do that here. You can also set extended averages if you'd like here. Now we're going to switch and go to our peak and pulse power measurement. That's done under the measurements tab, pulse power. So now we're displaying pulse power in the primary display. We're still showing average power in the right hand column. We'll now switch the sensor to provide a pulse instead of a CW signal. So we're measuring the pulse power in the primary display. Uh, we're showing our average power. We're showing duty cycle. It's been measured for us by the sensor. We're displaying peak power. And we're also displaying crest factor. In conclusion, Ladybug's LB478A, LB479A, and LB480A sensors are ideal for measuring peak and pulse power. With these sensors, there's no need to assume a duty cycle. The sensors will measure it for you. The sensors are less costly than pulse profiling sensors, however, they deliver the same accurate peak and pulse power. Also, Ladybug sensors do not require zeroing or calibration prior to making measurements. Thank you for watching our video.